Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Tuesday edition of Live at 5. I'm Russell Parker. One local food bank is one of 26 in 10 states selected for the Great Pantry Makeover by Foodline. Our Daily Bread Christian Food Ministry in Rockingham will be remodeled and have its shelves restocked as part of Food Lines Feed's largest associate volunteer initiative. According to a press release issued Monday, Food Lion Feeds, the grocery store chain's hunger relief initiative will donate more than 3 million meals and more than 1,000 volunteer hours over the 30-day action. The Great Pantry Makeover, now in its eighth year, takes place every September in correlation with Hunger Action Month, and Food Lion Feeds has helped to renovate nearly 260 food pantries since 2015, according to a press release. Including Our Daily Bread, Food Lion Feeds is renovating seven pantries in North Carolina, five each in South Carolina and Virginia, three in Tennessee, and at least one in five other states. Jane McLaurin, chair of the Our Daily Bread board, said the food pantry has been in the process of remodeling the warehouse over the past few months, including cleaning the floors, painting, and installing new shelving. A man is being held in the Rich County Jail accused of trying to kill his own brother. According to a press release issued Tuesday by the Rockingham Police Department, officers responded to First Health Moore Regional Hospital Richmond around 7.45 p.m. on September 12th in reference to a gunshot victim. The alleged victim, Justin Malloy, reportedly told police that he had gotten into an argument with his brother, 47-year-old Kendrick, at their mother's house on Pine Ridge Drive. Kendrick allegedly went out to his vehicle, grabbed a firearm, and shot his brother in the head. The victim received only a superficial head wound, according to police. The suspect was reportedly apprehended within 30 minutes and charged with attempted first-degree murder. He is being held on a $500,000 secured bond and is scheduled to appear in court on September 29th. Richmond County deputies recovered 16 grams of fentanyl following a vehicle-turned-foot chase over the weekend. According to the Sheriff's Office, investigators with the Community Impact Team attempted to conduct a traffic stop around 11.20 p.m. on Saturday, but the driver refused leading deputies on a chase until the driver crashed into a tree on Pickett Street. The driver, 23-year-old Elijah Jacob Stanford of Hamlet, then reportedly fled on foot with deputies in pursuit. Stanford was caught after being chased through a wooded area, but not before allegedly throwing a black bag. Inside the bag, investigators reportedly recovered 13 grams of the synthetic opioid fentanyl and items used to package narcotics. They also reportedly found another bag on the ground by the driver's side door containing 3 grams of fentanyl and an unspecified number of baggies of marijuana inside the car. A man who allegedly didn't show up for court is now facing felony drug charges. According to the Rich County Sheriff's Office, the Community Impact Team was investigating complaints of drug activity on Westfield Drive just north of Cordova on Friday, September 9th, when investigators conducted a traffic stop. The press release issued Monday does not identify the initial cause for the stop. One of the occupants, 27-year-old Frank Robert McKinnyak of Rockingham, had an outstanding warrant for failure to appear in court on a breaking and entering charge to release states. McKinnyak was taken on Markenyak was taken to a patrol car where he reportedly told deputies that he had thrown some illegal substance into the back seat and did not want anyone else in the vehicle to get in trouble for it. Investigators searched the car and found a baggie of fentanyl. According to the sheriff's office, the quantity of the synthetic opioid was not specified in the press release. Markenyak was served with the order for arrest and charge of possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and booked into Rich Cane Jail under a combined $13,500 secure bond. He was being held as of 3.30 p.m. on Monday. After suffering a pair of one-goal losses last week, the Russian Raiders soccer team got over the hump on Monday. The Raiders' fight was rewarded with a 2-1 comeback victory over conference foe Hope County. Head coach Chris Larson noted the Raiders have continued to battle hard in closely contested games and that the win over the Bucks was the result of playing a full 80 minutes. Richmond will look to add to its conference record with a home match against Union Pines on Wednesday. The Raiders and Vikings game will start at 7 p.m. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Excuse me, what is your name? I've seen you somewhere before. I'm Reverend C.F. McDowell III. I'm the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Fairmont. Have you been to my church? No, but I know where I've seen you, on the Richmond Observer. That's right. 
I am the host of the new feature on the Richmond Observer called Richmond Observes, and I want to help you observe why Richmond County is so rich. It's the people. And through some casual conversations, I want to introduce you to some folks from the everyday walk of life in Richmond County. So join me, C.F. McDowell III, for Richmond Observes on the Richmond Observer. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your live by Weather Report Rich County. Hope your Tuesday is going well. Once again, another nice day here in the Sand Hills with some 80 degree temperatures hanging around. Uh, a little bit of party quiet weather. Uh, not so bad at all, I would say. Uh, pretty nice day. Nice little breeze going on as well. And looking at the night, we'll continue to see 80s hanging around, but we'll be getting into the 60s later this evening. 6 o'clock, 83 degrees, 10 o'clock, 67, a party quiet skies. Sunset will be at 7.29 p.m. and it'll be a waning gibbous moon phase out tonight as well. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, more of what we saw today for the Sand Hills with sunny skies all day long. Cumberland County, a high of 82, low of 62. Hope County will be seeing a high of 82 and a low of 60 with Robeson County at a high of 85 and a low of 62. Over in Scotland County, just one degree cooler on the high there. Moore County, a high of 81 and a low of 58. Richmond County here will be seeing a high of 83 and a low of 60. Cross the PD in Anson County, a high of 82 and a low of 59. And then Marble County, a high of 84 and a low of 62. Once again, signing guys all day long tomorrow. And that is pretty much the case for the rest of the seven day forecast here. Let's take a look at it now. Wednesday, a high of 83, low of 60. Thursday and Friday, both will be sunny skies all day long, with Thursday at a high of 84 and a low of 61, and Friday, high of 85, low of 59. Saturday, all the way through Tuesday, is looking like party cloudy skies, not a raindrop in sight for this forecast. Saturday, a high of 83, low of 63. Continuing with nice weather for the weekend on Sunday, a high of 85 and a low of 63. A little bit warmer on Monday and Tuesday, high of 86, low of 64 for Monday. Tuesday, a high of 87 and a low of 66. So that's going to do it for your live by Weather Report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.